Hi guys, two months ago I have released a new update for this speech recognition AI. So let me show you what it does and how it works. Uh, basically this converts speech to text and then it can control other uh, applications and devices by sending the spoken text uh, to those uh, server sockets of those devices and applications. So also this uh, neural network can be visualized. So let me show you what it does. Hello, hi, understand. Okay, so you just saw uh, four words uh, being recognized and uh, I've clicked uh, over here to settings because uh, this neural network only listens uh, when, uh, when I'm clicked uh, in this uh, speech recognition menu part or uh, in this training. So I said, uh, hello, hi, understand, and then I just uh, snapped my fingers. So I wanted to activate uh, exactly these uh, four words because uh, only these four words uh, are uh, currently trained uh, in this uh, neural network but you can record uh, as many words as you want. So in this uh, neural network visualization you can actually compare each layer uh, let's say this understand and this hello uh, words, like how they actually activate which neurons. So this is the fifth layer, fifth hidden layer. And you can see that uh, these activations are quite different when you compare uh, each node. And uh, on the input of this neural network, you have uh, this amplitude, uh, the intonation of the word, and uh, this part is uh, uh, FFT, Fast Fourier Transform. So this is the uh, frequency uh, spectrum and its amplitude. So uh, these inputs are normalized and uh, these, uh, these, these are hidden layers of feed forward neural network. So when you compare, uh, let's say, these last layers, uh, including this classifier and uh, this uh, last hidden layer, then you can see like uh, well, what word activated uh, which uh, neuron. So when you have the same word, the last layers uh, should be technically activated the same way, but when you compare uh, each of these uh, words that are different, uh, also these, uh, one of the last hidden layers uh, should be quite uh, different. So you can scroll up and uh, compare each layer if you are interesting, uh, interested uh, into this. So that's basically it. And uh, also, this uh, speech recognition AI has this uh, word routing, so you can set uh, the phrase. Uh, when this phrase is detected, then uh, the whole spoken text uh, is forwarded uh, to a particular uh, server socket. And over here, I have added this uh, word, uh, the, uh, these advanced settings for word detection algorithm uh, that says like. Oh, if the word is detected, then uh, previous samples uh, can be also included and uh, then you will just say like uh, how many uh, samples should be included uh, from that record and uh, then like uh, what's the word uh, inertia threshold. So uh, when, when you intonate and speak, uh, 
the intonation goes up and down and if uh, it is exceeded above that threshold it is being recorded and also uh, word on uh, inertia samples uh, says like uh, when when it, uh, it is below the threshold like how many uh, word samples should be included after the word so this way you can uh, also uh, chop out of the record uh, in this case this is the understand word as an example because the if you don't set up the threshold, uh, the word inertia threshold and uh, word inertia samples, it can uh, split this word understand into two separate words, like into under and stand. So uh, that's because uh, in this region, as you can see, uh, it is quite silent uh, when you uh, say the word understand. And uh, here you have other options to set up your neural network parameters. Like uh, this classifier match means uh, when the word uh, should be converted to text and uh, displayed. Uh, so uh, if, uh, if those words are not uh, matching uh, perfectly above 85% in this case, then they are excluded and also considered uh, as an artifact and uh, this option allowed me to visualize the neural network and also uh, this neural network can be trained to uh, recognize also let's say notes from the flute or uh, any mu musical instrument uh, technically this neural network uh, converts sound and uh, it uh, labels it with, with the text so if you have let's say a, a flute you can uh, record uh, those individual notes and uh, then then they can be recognized by this neural network as well so that's why i kept this option here to keep longer words uh, but they will be trained, but uh, it can be good enough to uh, convert, uh, let's say, uh, those uh, notes of uh, musical instruments to text. So that's about it. Uh, all the news are uh, included in here, like uh, what it does uh, and what were the latest changes. So that's all for you today. And after this video, I, I will just show you a practical example what this neural network is capable of, even the previous version. So, thanks for watching. Bye. Hello, understand, lights on. Red lights. Green lights blue lights lights off